Hey, I'm Tony Scott, and here's some news you may have missed. Fantasia is said to be not happy with her former lover, Antoine Cook. Now, some backstory. Antoine cheated on his wife, Paula, with Fantasia, and he and Fantasia had a son named Dallas. Antoine and Paula are back together, but he and Fantasia share custody. But because Fantasia spends a lot of time on the road grinding out a career, the little boy spends a lot of time with his daddy and his family, including Antoine's wife, Paula. Ah! Ha! There's a the problem. Fantasia's son is bonding with Antoine's wife and the two sons that Antoine and Paula have together. Dallas just celebrated his second birthday and while Fantasia was on Broadway in New York, Antoine, Paula, and their two boys celebrate at Chuck E. Cheese. Fantasia, it's understandable how you feel. I mean, you're only human. Your man went back to his wife and left you and the baby and you don't want the baby around that woman. But Dallas needs stability and there's nothing wrong with him being around with his daddy and his family. Is it awkward? Oh yeah, it's awkward, but you're on the road a lot. No criticism, it is what it is. You need to be an adult like Paula. She welcomes the boy in her home. She's forgiven. You need to get in that space. It's what's best for Dallas. Hey, the first time Greg Casarona had sex, the walls shook. No, really. He was 21. His girl, Jen, was 22. She lived in her parents' basement. They were in her room. She knew he was a virgin, so she made the first move and stripped down to her bra and panties. Now, understand Greg's 440 pounds, Jen's 110 pounds. Greg was game, two game, in fact. He began and started thrusting and thrusting and thrusting, and her head went through the drywall. <laughs> I can't make these things up. Greg thought he killed the girl. Now, quoting Greg, this is my first time and Jen's dead. A couple of seconds later, Jen removed her head from the wall and told Greg, why'd you stop? He was trying to lighten the mood because Greg felt like he was about to have a heart attack. She did go to the hospital and was diagnosed with a concussion. Now, this is all part of a new series on TLC, premiering December 28th, called Sex Sent Me to the ER. I know you got a story. A man took a selfie for his Instagram and a sheriff saw it and dude got charged with 142 felonies. The Florida sheriff was investigating suspicious activity on Instagram and ran across Dupree Johnson's page. The sheriff noticed guns and lots of jewelry, which looked to be stolen, so he got a search warrant, and they found $250,000 worth of stolen firearms, jewelry, and electronics. Pro tip here. If you're going to take a selfie, do it in an empty space. Nothing in the background, just you and the wall. You know what I'm saying here? That's what's best. And if you're going to do it in the bathroom, put the seat down and the lid. Put that down, too. Hey, that's it. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and Google Plus and Pinterest and give this a thumbs up and subscribing makes you awesome in my book. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Scott.